Giant African land snails, nicknamed as gals, is a species of land snail in the family Acatinidae, class Gastropoda of the phylum Mollusca. It is a native of East Africa. Being listed as one of the top 100 invasive species in the world, Acatina fulica makes an important and interesting subject for studies. As the sun goes down, the slimy head peeps out of their shell and the place is suddenly full of activities. Snails moving here and there, some searching for food, some for meat, young ones scattered all around. They are generally regarded as herbivores, feeding primarily on living and decaying plant matter. Radula, a distinguishing characteristic of gastropods, is used to scrape and grab food easily. Gals need calcium to form their shells. As per Osgo and Bogup 2006, many snail species use the shells of other snails, dead or alive, as a source of calcium in calcium deficient conditions. We found one of the gals apparently scavenging on a dead snail. Interestingly, no literature has been found on cannibalism in gals. Acadena fulica are solitary species. They don't seem to interact with each other except for when they meet. They are hermaphrodites, but self-fertilization is very rare. So, courtship and interaction are necessary aspects of their life. According to Kiyonori Tomiyama 1993, courtship behavior occurs exclusively during night time. Unlike many land snails and gals, there is difference in the courtship behavior shown by the courtship initiator and the courtship acceptor. Courtship begins as soon as it encounters a prospective partner with one individual approaching the other from behind and mounting the shell. It is the snail that has been mounted accepts the potential mate. It will bend its head backwards and begins to rock its body and the pair will proceed to mating. As suggested by Tomiyama 1995, Gals have two mate choice criteria, which are reproductive stage and body size, of which the reproductive stage dependent mate choice is dominant. Old adults can produce both sperms and eggs, but young adults produce only sperm. If the snails are of similar size, there is possibility of simultaneous transfer of gametes, whereas if there is size difference, the gamete transfer is unilateral from smaller to larger one. To stimulate copulation, a calcified dart, called love dart, is injected into its partner, which is a form of sexual selection. This love dart has been shown to increase the chance of success by effectively injecting a chemical which retards the sperm-resisting abilities of the receiving female reproductive organ. The fertilized eggs are laid in a nest or in the dirt and leaves, which then hatch and become immature snails and then to adulthood. Though they make fine pet for people around the world, the havoc they created as pests cannot go unmentioned.